Alrighty, so we have a construction update today. Um, so finally the delay is over. Um, and to be honest, I can't tell if there's any new track pieces in here. I'm going to assume even if there is, it's like one or two pieces. So um, what I think is happening here is they've shipped all the pieces to get us through the Immelman loop um, out of the tunnel. And that was like phase one of the construction project. And phase two is the rest of the coaster. The footers aren't poured for that part of the coaster yet. So why ship the track? That actually makes sense. Um, I just wanted to touch on this a bit. So this is very early for half of the, about nearly half of the parking lot to be taken up by car rentals. Um, so the park has clearly rented out half of the parking lot approximately to car rentals. And Halloween Haunt is in full swing, essentially, this Friday. And I just don't think that's going to work out very well. I'm very interested to see what happens to the parking lot, especially closer to the end of October. Uh, I'm very worried about what's going to happen. I just wanted to point that out. As you can see... Um, from the footage here, sorry, I have a really bad cold. I'm trying really hard to push through and make it sound like I don't. But as you can see, um, we have the first part of the pull out of the drop going backwards, actually. So the, the pull out of the drop uh, going out of the tunnel and up. The first support beam has been connected. Um, and the A-frame will probably go up tomorrow. And then they'll put in the other part of the drop, the part that actually goes into the 90 degree section. Um, it looks really cool seeing how it's going to somehow connect, see how the, the lift hill and the drop there are like so close together. So seeing how that's going to work out is going to be interesting as well. So I wanted to let you guys know we have a new series. So I've decided with Carolyn's Vertical Construction starting and Wonderland's Vertical Construction continuing, uh, I'm going to do kind of like a versus construction update. So every time I do a Wonderland construction update, I'll do a Carolyn's construction update and I'll discuss how far along each project is. Um, I thought this would be a lot more interesting for you guys. It's almost like a race who can finish first. Um, so along the way, you guys can cheer for your home park or, you know, uh, f do friendly little bets with your friends and all that as the construction progresses. Um, and I guess here's a shot of us waving because <laughs> why not? Um, so we're going to get right into it. So uh, as you see, Wonderland's got the drop finally uh, going up and the remainder of this coaster is actually going to go in very quickly so the lift and the drop are going to be completed pretty quickly i would actually expect probably two to three weeks because there's really bad weather coming in um that it'll probably be completed in two to three weeks moving forward now carolyn's construction on the other hand has moved forward very quickly um we got the station the jojo roll um the turn the little like pre-show type holding break area um installed and then you have like i think more a little more than three quarters of the launch installed so we're getting close to that vertical loop on a uh, copperhead strike so that's that's absolutely insane i've been watching this construction project um on copperhead strike for well not very long two or three days now and it is just like going up like no tomorrow you see them working really quickly so they're bringing in pieces so the pieces definitely weigh a lot less than yukon striker um so they're able to just bring them in like carrying like groceries <laughs> bring them in and then install them almost right away whereas with yukon striker they have to bring them in uh the night before or the morning of um and then unload them with heavy machinery much heavy mach heavier machinery than what they're unloading them with here um and then they have to set them up and connect the pieces so they're usually connecting two pieces together at a time installing the catwalks um, on that piece of track at the same time as well, adding the netting and then installing it. So Yukon Striker's got a bit of a disadvantage on this uh, little uh, competition here on which coaster will finish first, but uh, it, both coasters are definitely making very good progression, um, especially considering Yukon Striker had a bit of a delay, almost about two weeks of a delay on um, construction now. Um, they did not do nothing in the two weeks at uh, Wonderland. So they did a lot of the fine details. You can actually see some of them on the lift hill. Um, so definitely a lot of attention to detail. Construction has progressed over there in the Timberwolf Forest. Um, footers are could, could not tell. I don't think anything new has been poured quite yet. Again, I think this coaster is like almost like a two phase, maybe even three phase. And Carowinds is probably the same. Actually, Carowinds is probably two phase. It's probably the coaster and then the theming. Whereas Wonderland, it was like phase one of the coaster. So the station, break, lift hill, and drop, and tunnel. And phase two would be the Timberwolf area, so the second half of the coaster. And then phase three would be theming. 
whereas Carowinds is the coaster and then theming. Um, so very interesting altogether. Um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed the footage of Yukon Striker, um, and hopefully you guys like this new method of doing the construction updates. So mixing Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland and almost having it be a race to see who can finish first. I'm definitely going to be doing it this way from now on. I really appreciate you guys watching these construction updates. Very thankful that they're uh, this popular, and I just want to make them even better. So any suggestions, comment down below on how we can make them better. Um, and uh, I definitely hope you guys like this new method of doing them. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, share this video for others to enjoy. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and enjoy the rest of the footage for both Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland. Have a good one, guys. Bye.